Hello everyone, I have just released the second public beta of Ballsy World Cup 2020 which add a local multiplayer mode which I will take a look at today. Now, uh, when you start Ballsy for the first time it will automatically try to detect what controllers you have on your computer and uh, auto set the buttons. In my case I have now one Xbox controller connected so it automatically sets this, the right buttons. Uh, at least it does when you have a uh, an X input compatible controller for generic or other types of controllers. I'm not sure what's going to happen but you will probably have to set them up manually. Um, but otherwise you'd be okay. Then for the second player um, it uh, automatically sets the settings to the keyboard controls and the other players are just not set at all which is what should happen I guess now if I add a uh, second gamepad to my PC which I have now connected uh, the settings will not automatically change which is probably not what you want but if you reset it to default it now sees the second gamepad and sets the buttons accordingly Again, if you have an X input compatible device. Same goes for the third player, which uh, you can now reset and will then have the keyboard settings automatically. So, this way, you shouldn't have to set up the buttons in the case where you have a uh, X input compatible controller, or if you don't, the first player will automatically have the keyboard keys set. Now when you start a single match, you can select a side. Uh, for example, I can play for Team 1 with my controller. Then with my second controller I can play for Team 2. And the keyboard player is uh, going to play with Team 1. Uh, everybody can then press pause to signal that they are ready. And then you get to the team selection screen where the um, uh, first player of each side uh, will be the team leader. So in this case, with my controller, I can select the team, uh, the, the the first team. The second controller can pick the second team, and the keyboard player will not be able to do anything because they are not the team leader of team one. Now, in my case, I don't have any actual human beings around me since we are in a sort of intelligent lockdown here in the Netherlands. So I'm afraid I can't really show how that works in practice. Um, I can only move one person at once, obviously, but uh, it should work. I'm now controlling the green guy with my uh, second controller. And the uh, keyboard player is blue. And again, uh, it should all work and now you should be able to play a local multiplayer game. Um, but again, it's hard for me to test in this current situation, so it would great me, greatly help me if the people who have the luxury of having a human being around, maybe you have a sibling, uh, to help test this for me if it works correctly. Uh, it should be playable. Uh, let me know if it is. And uh, you can download the public beta from itch.io. I will put a link in the video description. Have a good day and see you next time.